Hi everybody, this is Audrey from Creative Creations by Audrey and today I'm going to show you a little waterfall folio that I made um, for this fall for when I take my girls out na nature walking and possibly apple picking. The tutorial, you can find the tutorial for this over at um, my sister Scrapper. Ginger has a great tutorial on these um, and they're fun and they're fast to make. What a great project to display your photos in. The paper line I got at uh, Michael's, it's the Recollection Signature Series Night and Fall 12 by 12 pad. I bought it last year so I didn't see it this year over at Michael's. Um, so I'm not sure if they still have it available, but it's such a quick project. I made this one this morning, um, you know, right after my husband went to work. So, and I hope that you guys can see everything good because my husband just made me a new, uh, video, um, recording area and a new, um, pole. So I don't. You know, the professional ones are a little pricey right now for me, so he kind of made do with, with some supplies that we had around the house, and it it's working. It looks great. So, the little saying here, fall is in the air. I love this. It's from Miss Kate Cuttables. Stop over um, at her SBG site. Check out some of her uh, designs. She's got some great ones. Especially for fall, um, over the summer I bought a bunch of them. Uh, I will be using those to do some of my um, beach day uh, books that I'm going to make. So you open it up and over here you have this nice pocket and you can put some tags in it. Um, some paper packs as everybody knows comes with that, some of those little cuttables, mine didn't. So I just made a couple little tags using my crocodile corner punches, made some tags here, some of the leftover paper. I left my backs open for journaling. Um, I can add some photos if I want, but I pretty much wanted to be able to do some journaling on each one of my tags. So, and I made them in five different sizes and this pocket holds quite a bit. Then over here you have the waterfall to add you can add 15 photos over here so it does hold quite a bit of photos um, between your tags and the waterfall um, right here I will be adding a strip of pattern paper to finish off this I forgot to do it and I think over here I'm gonna add something maybe with the year um, for this year for me and then that's it um, and here's the back nice and simple and you can decorate the spine she's done some with the decoration of the spine adding some tools some ribbon um, a charm um, I decided to leave this one blank I've made a couple of other ones and made one for a wedding and I made one for my mother-in-law for the uh, the day that she went to the beach with me and the girls but stop over check out ginger over at my sister scrapper in the tutorial and then also stop over at Miss Kate Cuttables and check out some of her SVG files. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this project today and hope you stop back again and see what else I am going to show you. You all have a great day. Bye.